Kingwood High was destroyed in the floods, so was its baseball field. But as Melissa Correa reports, there is one thing that made it out of the ballpark, a lesson in life. After the flood, this fence keeps you back, and for good reason. It's pretty devastating. Mason Wynn may still have a home, but the high school sophomore just lost his heart. I mean, baseball is kind of how I go about things. Like, I mean, even through school, I just think, like, all right, I'm going to get good grades so I can play baseball. But, I mean, we don't even have a field right now. We lost a lot. Yeah, losing a lot of equipment is, is, is an understatement. Dirt dried on the side of the dugout gives you an idea of just how flooded this field was. It's amazing what water does to the mowers, to the infield drag, to the gator, to the pitching machines, and to all the baseballs, and to our cages, and all the weights that we had in the cages. And you start putting a dollar amount on all that stuff, it just adds up. So on Twitter, which most teens use, Mason Wynn did what most teens don't. We're just looking for some help. We're just trying to get back to where we were. That's, it's, you know, kind of gets you choked up a little bit, and you know, because all the things you think as coaches that you talk to about the kids all the time, from how to handle adversity to being a man of character, and, and all these things are going to pay off later in life. Sometimes you don't know if you're getting through to them, but we've really learned in the past two and a half weeks that our kids are listening. And it's pretty awesome. Especially since baseball groups across the country are now answering the call for help. Come Monday, debris will still line neighborhood streets. Kingwood High School will still be empty and its ballpark bare. And this season, while the Mustangs don't have home field advantage, this team, this high school, has something far better. Unity and family. You know, we break every day with Kingwood on three, family on six. This has brought us so much closer. Standing for Houston, Melissa Correa, KHOU 11. A lot of winners up there in Kingwood. For many students, Monday will be the first day of school. To help you navigate the road closures and traffic delays, we're starting early. Be sure to join us and our morning team at 4 o'clock Monday morning. We'll have everything you need to know to get you ready for that first day of school.